Hey guys, this is Icicle and this is my course on production. Uh, in this course, I'm taking you through my entire workflow, the way that I usually work, starting off with drum strum design, uh, bass design, different types of sound design for leads and music, pads, so on, and eventually structure and mix down. Um, I hope you enjoy. I've really tried to stick to the basic principles of how I work so that you can take them and then develop them in, into something of your own. Um, so yeah, I hope that you enjoy. Big up. Now moving on, let's create some more musical elements. Start off with a simple stab. We've gone down this sort of deep modern Ed version up to Clevite. Uh, we'll use Vital once again. It's free after all. Um, let's go for a, like a stab, a chordy stab. Now, these are fairly simple sounds. The basics of them being a, a third played out of a, out of his filtered saw. Now we have maybe a tiny bit of space in our riff, perhaps here. Let's put the, the grid quantization back to here. Yeah, maybe. I don't know, but this is uh, as good a place as any to start. You know, a one thousand twenty fourth grid. Yes, please. Of course, why not? Um. All right. So there we go. So the third playing and solo okay cool let's go oh uh let's go i didn't mean this i meant to shift into uh, the saw all right so we have a third it's basic just set up the filter while we're at it just go for a steeper analog just a little there we go A bit faster. Cool. Now that's already quite a nice tab. But let's try and make it a bit more interesting. Anyway, um, let's FM it with the second oscillator. Cool. Uh, I don't want this uh, playing, I just want it existing. Perhaps I want it to, to have an articulation that resembles uh, this one. So, it's definitely a little. Um, There we go, that's cool. Alright, so that makes it a bit more unsettled and sort of drifty. Let's just enable a third layer. We can run this to the second filter. And we will engage that as well. Perhaps we could uh, use a tiny uh, little quick peek. Just set up a second, somewhat differently moving filter envelope. That's cool. So we have a bit more texture, uh, perhaps unison here. Now that is cool. Go into the effects section and uh, just the slightest of chorus, I think. And a bit of this reverb. Cool. Um, here in the voices tab, let's have a listen to it in the groove and then see how we can potentially uh, change the articulation a little bit. Just. C 
see if we can fortify that bottom end. Cool, that's uh, pretty interesting uh, right there. I would imagine we can EQ some of the detail out of it a little bit. This here is probably remnant of the FMing, so we don't want that. It's quite nice when it has the body. So that's pretty cool as it is. Um, why not make uh, an alternate of it? I don't know where we have the space. We'd have to let's play the riff a couple times, but let's just put it here for now. Uh, just quickly see if we could do a tiny bit of a variation. Of I'm almost inclined to use this double sort of uh, but I'm guessing there is a solid variation um, I don't know if the riff could take uh, such things but let's have a listen Okay, this could potentially be something, uh, but it needs work. So I'm thinking more articulated and just see if I give it that reverb -y sound there and let's see what we are then. This is cool. Uh, we had a bit of modulation going on there, but I've changed this. Now I want to make this a regular-ish occurrence, say every four bars. So I'm just going to make sure that I copy this correctly. And now cool. Let's start. This is goes a bit far to call these leads, although I guess technically they probably are. Let's group them. Let's stay consistent and call it the lead bus. Uh, processing here, you could do another saturation. <laughs> Why not? But just have a quick look. Yeah. And this sort of opened up reverb. We could just be more dramatic. I think there's space for it. Let's take some low out. Perhaps also a bit of high. Although this reverb is nice, let's actually layer a little bit of pro art in there as well. It's just a bit nicer. Doesn't need to be much. I'm thinking that we still need to lose more low end. Let's see if we can play with the distance a bit. Well, it's just getting a little bit too noisy for me, so just a little bit too top endy. Uh, not quite the sound I was hearing there for a quick second, so let's just dial it back in. I think that's the cleanest version of it. All right, give it a quick save and uh, let's move forward.